Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to make it a coming out of dormancy video. So I came to the greenhouse, I haven't been out here for a few days and saw that loads of stuff has changed literally just in a matter of few days. So Saracenias I only had a few flowers before, I've now counted 27 flowers and counting so some are still yet to catch up so I'm incredibly happy with that because my aim for last year was to pollinate as many Saracenia flowers as I could, I only got six. This year I've got too many to count so um, it's going to be a great display as well. So I'm going to detail kind of some of the main genus, so I'm going to include Pinguicula, Drosera, Flytraps and Saracenia and show the stuff to look out for as they're coming out to Dauncey. So I've noticed a loss of colour and all the Drosera coming back, those that were temperate um, sundews as well as subtropical sundews which I keep in here all year round and this is an unheated greenhouse. So the stuff that dies down from the roots have started to come back as well now. So really looking great and I'm just going to detail a few things to look out for as your plants come out of dormancy. So first of all I'm going to do one of my favourite genus which is the Saracenia and as you can see from the display in front you can already see several flowers so at the moment there is no pictures all the flowers will come up first and you can see from the rhizomes I have got many flowers most of them are about this length however there is a few so for example my Linda Buck which has now got six rhizomes and three of those rhizomes are currently flowering and you can see the tip that is just coming out of the end growth point so even ones like this Avalon Beach so you can see here this has only just started to create flower but you can notice the flower from the rounded bud that is coming out the top and they'll eventually produce the stalk so this is what a Saracenia flower starts off by looking like so flowers are usually the first ones to come out of dormancy with pictures so these are the starts of the pictures so as you can see that even though this isn't all green flower the pictures come out red um, from the base of the plant so this is what they start looking like mine are a little bit um, deformed coming out as some of them have come out incredibly early and then we had a little bit of frost and some of them this is why they had this deformity uh, but as you can see from these newer ones they are a nice bright green and the healthy coloration and they will form into this so from being this kind of red coloration Will eventually go in all green so that's what we'll look out for so this is what the pictures look like and they come from the rhizome so you know the rhizome is healthy from one if you're repotting the rhizome will be in nice pinky white coloration and even around the base you can see here that there is no rotting and there's some nice firm rhizomes i think there's three or four rhizomes in here and same with like older plants so this is my cronus titan here and it's just currently a rhizome, it hasn't um, done anything yet, I'm hoping it'll flower because I was excited to even see this one because I haven't yet seen any pictures on it because I got it late in the season. But you can see here from different states, sizes of rhizomes and this is where the growth points will come out, so this is in the last red tube here. Moving on to fly traps next and as you can see some of them haven't gone as dormant as others, so my probably most dormant examples would be the B52 which I got this one late in the season as well so it already died down quite a lot but as you can see the new growth is starting to form so this is what you're looking out for really the old growth will eventually die back and the new growth will come from the rhizome um, so all leaves that look like this so this is my mega traps you will either if they get this bad you could just pull them off or clip them off so I'm just going to pinch that and then there you go so take off any dead matter and all the new leaves so the, you can see here even the ones that haven't gone that dormant so these are the old leaves of my darwin but you can see in the middle here is where the new grass is starting to form and you'll see this on all of them so i've got my um green sawtooth here and it's got some really nice new growth in the middle which you can see on almost all of them as it begins in the season same for like um different cultivars like the fused tooth in the winter they produce these kind of leaves here which are less fused where in the full growing season the teeth are either completely fused like this or beginning to like this so eventually all these um fire traps will lose their older leaves and then grow new ones so the best example of probably newer leaves is my dentate because it's got two new leaves already and they've got longer PTLs so the PTLs will eventually stand up on some forms obviously it depends on the cultivar as well and the old leaves will eventually die off so I'll quickly show some of my pinguicula so these are my temperate pinguicula and I have two types of these I've got the pinguicula grandiflora and I've got a few of these which I brought in from my bog barrel as well as loads of gamier that I've sown I've got so much gamier there's still loads outside the bog barrel so 
there's going to be a lot probably lost this year as well for me not being able to sow all of it and having the space for it. So you can see here how the plants start to form. So these ones are from Gamier and you can see still some of the Gamier in the bottom and they'll eventually start producing their roots. This one is very rough again because they've just bought them in from the bog garden. So it's not anything that I've professionally planted up or anything I've actually taken time to. And I've just scattered them over the top and you can see they'll produce the roots and then they'll come up looking like this with their leaves. So I've got some older hibernacula here, which I am yet to put back in the bog barrels, but they eventually will do. These I use mainly to bring in so I can take the gamay off the base of them. And these are my older hibernacula, because these ones are two years old now. And as you can see, they're all starting to come out. And this is what they'll look like. Uh, so once obviously they are as a hibernacula, the leaves are tighter and they are just these individual buds. And they too will eventually start producing longer roots to anchor down into the ground. So it's best that I get them out there quicker before they start obviously growing too much in here. And then my other type of um, temperate pingamicula is my ice spice. So this is one I also got late in the season. I've never seen it um, as a full mature plant before. But as you can see it's starting to grow as well. And so far it's looking lovely. So it is crossed with a grandiflora. So it is looking very similar to my grandifloras at the moment. But these leaves are meant to be longer and larger. So I'm really excited to see what this creates this year and I've got a couple of uh, gamier from the ice spy as well so there's one here which is just starting to grow and then one here unfortunately I did lose one which was in this corner here you can kind of see just there the brown leaf so that one did rot off unfortunately but it's nice that I've got the adult which eventually will produce its own um, gamier at the end of the year so moving on to Drosera next I am going to start with temperate Drosera and start with these native ones so Drosera rotunda folia here and as you can see they have just started coming out so again similar to Pinguicula where they have a tight bud formed in the middle and eventually the leaves will just start unfurling like this and it's a good example of this as you can see different stages so this one's only started coming out this one's a little bit further forward and this one's already got some dewy leaves on it which is really nice because I only came out, well say the last time I came out here was probably like three days ago and these were still tight clustered buds so it shows you how quickly they can come out. So here I've got my Drosa Anglica and I've got a small pot of Anglica here as well and same as the Rotunda um, Folia you can see they've just started coming out so there's a little baby here and a few others I think I had ran to, I did have seed which I just put in the same pot Oh yeah, I've only just noticed these as well. Look, there's loads of little seedlings coming up there, which is great. And I've got a whole pot of them here. So these will be another great one that hopefully will flower this year. And I might even be able to make a couple of crosses with the Rotundifolia. A couple of other temperate Drosera that I've got is, this is a Drosera Bonata Vardictoma. And as you can see from the old dead growth, we've got some new leaves coming. So these are really lovely plants, really, really big, especially being in these little pots. There's several plants in here. And I now have three of these litre pots and this one in particular got really really big last year and likely that all three of them will so eventually they won't be able to fit in this space on the tray they'll have to have their own space like they did last year due to how big they can get so it'll be interesting to see how all three of them get big I've even got a smaller pot here which again you can see probably a better example of individual plants so if I was to divide this up you can see where the plants start so there's little individual plants which you can see from how they're coming out from the soil so you've got quite a few in here as well so I've got quite a few pots of this and that's gonna probably be a really nice display but also a very messy display as well and finally I've got my Drosera filiformis I've got two pots of this as well and I've only just noticed there's a little odd one over here which is not part of the main hibernaculus here Oh, that might be another one so it might have been some seeds because these flowered quite a few you can still see that actually the old flower stalks on these and i let them self seed so i was away came back and a lot of them had already lost their seeds which you could actually see coming up around the pot and this one is probably a better example because they've got more um leaves and you can even start seeing the dew on the ends of these leaves as well so that is also another filiformis so finally I thought I would cover subtropical Drosera because even though they don't need a dormancy period I do leave my subtropical Drosera out here all year round and that's purely because space I don't have enough space to especially keep all these capensis I do have about 300 capensis because they are like weeds they self seed everywhere and as you can see 
they have just started coming up as well so these um this year we had a really hard winter this year and most of them just died down straight to the roots and they're all starting to come back so I've, i can see which pots have got little drosher in and this is what they look like i showed you found a better example so some may die down to almost absolutely nothing just might be a stump and these are incredibly hardy plants and they will start coming back like this so the green center in the middle is a great sign that they're coming back and they'll start looking like this as they come out so this is um, similar with many drosera or especially subtropical drosera like here this is an alicia and you can see the new greener leaves um, amongst these red old leaves from the last season just starting to come out so i've got a few pots of this same here so it's just a little odd bits and bobs pot and there is a drosera commensis in here which they've just started to get their dew back and even though they are considered as weeds they are absolutely beautiful plants with really nice abundance of dew so a few others so these two pots here are drosera alicia and this is a pot of seedlings and this is actually a pot of adults and as you can see with those they are also starting to come back so this is the third year this one has been outside the first year it was just a single plant then the second year it produces massive clump and then now this its third year will it looks like it's likely going to keep the same clump or even just die down to a single one as i said before we do ha did have a very harsh winter and it's done a little bit more damage than it usually does on these plants but you can still see the juice starting to come back on them so these smaller seedlings at the base here have got some really nice dew on them and the adult uh, more of mature plants are just starting to get their uh, new leaves from which would be the dead center of the plant so they are all coming back from the roots or the existing plant there before same with some of my newer plants like my Drosera venusta I didn't put this inside I kept it out here and you can see as well it did get a bit of cold damage but it again is coming back with some really nice dew on it so it's been really nice now to see everything that's coming out and what was likely just to continue being a really nice display so that's just a rundown I've just covered Four main genus of coniferous plants and what to look out for when they're coming out of dormancy so I have an unheated greenhouse as I said before and this is the kind of thing I expect at this time of year so even those people who keep um, coniferous plants inside on windowsills if they're looking for seeing the signs all plants will have the similar sign depending obviously whether they got a dormancy period or not um, so even subtropical sundews all year round which don't require a dormancy even in the peak of the growing season can sometimes have their moments where they die down especially with um, plants like Drosa capensis which are a massively great beginner plant and they're beautiful as well um, are always likely to come back from the roots so even if your plants looking rather terrible then there is still a great chance it'll come back so I really hope this video has been of help for some people and thank you so much so if you do like this video make sure to like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching